Hello students, hello viewers, welcome to this video and uh, this happens to be the 60th word that we'll be discussing uh, the pronunciation of. So congratulations, but uh, let us not, uh, you know, spend too much time in congratulating ourselves, I mean, uh, each other. So uh, let's, let's uh, go on straight to the word. Uh, the word that we are going to discuss for today is A-L-L-E-G-I-A-N-C-E. -E. Let me repeat. A L L E G I A N C E. And this word divides itself into three syllables. And uh, well, uh, so the moment we say three syllables, let's look at what the what these syllables are. Syllable one is a, uh, syllable two is li, and syllable three is gens. Let me repeat: syllable one is a, uh, syllable two is li, and syllable three is gens. Now, what do we know about the uh, stress, uh, lo the location of stress in three syllable words? So, do we exclude the third syllable? Okay. So, let me give you the, 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 the rule that you have to follow that we usually follow in uh, English uh, stress, lexical stress. And that is that in, in words of three syllables, if there are three syllables in a word, and if the third syllable is stressed, it is usually a word of French origin. We have seen this, but just I'm repeating it for you know, uh, for uh, this video's sake. So that it becomes, you know, it becomes, uh, you understand this much better. Okay. So you have three syllables in this, a, li, gens. And if you notice, in spite of uh, gens having a number of uh, sounds, okay. We'll, when we share screen, when I share screen with you, you'll understand how many, how many sounds it has. The third syllable will usually be excluded unless and until it is a word of French origin. So if it is a word of French origin, you can again go and check the etymology of, uh, yeah, of the word and uh, you know check whether, uh, whether this word is stressed on the last syllable. Now, there may be some words which are of French origin, but which are, which have, uh, which are pronounced like English words. So that the last syllable or the third syllable is not stressed. Okay, so we'll look at that later. Again, like uh, four syllable words, we'll have to look at th uh, three syllable words separately. So the three syllables are a, uh, li, gens. A, uh, li, gens. Syllable one is a, uh, syllable two is li, syllable three is gens. And even before I pronounce the word, you should be able to tell me that obviously the third syllable is excluded. Two uh, candidates are there, syllable one and syllable two. Out of these, if you notice, syllable one is a, uh, shwa. So automatically, li will be uh, pronounce. So if you want, uh, we will we'll attack the stress. So if you want, uh, just pause the video here and practice the pronunciation as it should be. And then listen to the pronunciation. Okay. So I'm just increasing the challenge level here. You can practice and then you can check with the, the way uh, the, it is pronounced by me. Okay. So just pause the video here. Okay. So if you have done your practice, the, 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 the pronunciation of the word that we are looking at today uh, goes like this. Allegiance, 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 allegiance. Now, let me share screen with you so that you are able to, just a minute. Yeah, share screen, share, and there we are. The word for today is allegiance. It is divided into three syllables, a, uh, li, and gens. Okay, and let us look at the transcription of it. So, and the second syllable carries the stress. So, that is the primary stress syllable. Okay, so there are no, there's no, there are, there are no other stress syllables in this word. So, we are safe. Okay. Okay, so let us come to the uh, uh, transcription. And there are certain things that I wanted to talk about the transcription. One is that, look at the third syllable. So, we have allegiance here with the uh, stress on the second syllable. The second syllable carries the primary stress. Okay, so come to the third syllable, gens, and if you notice, even when you look at uh, the uh, uh, the transcription given in the Cambridge English Pronunciation Dictionary, CPD 18th edition, you will notice that this uh, these two are actually almost italicized, which means that they are very weak uh, sounds. So it is not gents, it is gens. You need not pr produce that t. Moreover, the t that you see here is actually an inserted sound. It comes in between in and is again. Uh, it's it's a it's a topic in its own, uh, uh, it's a topic in its own right. We'll have to discuss that. You know, you, I need at least half an hour to talk about you know sounds that get inserted between two consonant sounds. So that we'll we'll discuss later. 
and if you notice just one thing here look at the spelling and look at the pronunciation the, the transcription in the pronunciation when you look at the spelling you will tend to pronounce it the the this word as a four syllable word i'll tell you how allegiance allegiance with the result that let me show you the transcription for that we would like to introduce e here and probably like something like this but that is not the that is not how it is uh, pronounced so allegiance allegiance so that is not how it is uh, you know it's pronounced it's pronounced as a uh, you know as a three syllable word so it's allegiance allegiance there is no problem even if you don't pronounce that t sound between in and is there's no problem at all so allegiance allegiance so there we are with the pronunciation of this word allegiance it's a three syllable word and i told you the three syllable words if they if the third syllable is if the third syllable is stressed it is usually a word of french origin we'll talk more about three syllable words uh, in a separate video um and uh, please practice this uh, the pronunciation of this word please uh, you know keep the views coming in please uh, watch all the videos do the task that i that i give you and i'm sure you will you know you you will fairly master the uh you know the the nuances of english lexical pronunciation so goodbye for now the word for today was allegiance please keep uh, watching this uh, please keep practicing your pronunciation and please look forward to the next video goodbye and thank you